Well, guys, I ain't posted a video in a while. I'm about to. I'm going to do this project real quick. I'm about to show you guys what it is. But uh, my uh, professor, Sam, the guy who coaches me jiu-jitsu, he asked me to put uh, some stalls in this barn. So we're going to clean this barn out where I add some stalls. Let me show you what I'm working with here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff and move it out of the way. And then I'm going to build stalls here. And he's going to put his puppies in it and, and some other animals, goats and whatnot. So, but I, first I got to clean this whole area up and then we got to put stalls in. So, I'll show you what that's like in a minute. Well, there we go. I got all the stuff moved out of the way and even this little table removed. So, he's got some patches around the bottom that are going to need to be fixed. But before I even do that, I'm just going to start running T-Post and make the stables. So this would be one side. And then we got another. Alright, right now I'm making the gates. Show you how I'm doing it. Very simple. I put a T-Post in the ground. And then I take some wire and I wrap the crap out of it just above a post. But also where this, where the weight sits on it, it'll, it'll hang on the wire. Then I tie it with a drill and then wrap this around so nothing gets snagged. And then this gate will just open and close freely. Let me show you how it's done. So I got a nice long piece of wire here. Nothing special. And again, I want to try to go above this but below this. Try to get it in the film here. Alright, here we go. I always split the difference. And make it tight. As tight as you can. This is a cheap way to do a hinge. You know, everything's so expensive. And all I'm using for a gate is some cattle iron you can get from tractor supply. I take a drill, open it up, tighten it on there, makes a nice tight wrap. Once it's wrapped enough, I turn it around and I tuck it in between the wire and just wrap it the best I can here. And the video stopped, but camera fell and the video stopped that's what I get for trying to record by myself but at the end that's the result now I got another gate to make and I got to move that gate all right I got three gates installed here's one of them they all open in and then they close and there's this one and then this one and uh, now I'm gonna run the fencing. This will be three stalls on this side, this side alone. All right, so I got one pin done. I'm gonna try to get it on video here. But here's the fence, here's the gate, and then there's a fence going that way. So let me walk into the pin here. You will open the gate in, and then you're inside the pin now. Fence, gate, fence, then we got the wall now he's got holes everywhere so i removed this tin and i'm gonna patch it up so it ain't so holy and uh hopefully he likes that but that's one pin and then i got another one right here and then another one down there so keep on going all right guys quick update here's stall number one goes from there to that fence right there Here's the gate, and this is probably the biggest stall right here. And then here's stall number two, right next to it. Same, it's got a gate that opens in. And then here's stall number three, right here. I patched them holes right here, but I'm gonna recommend that he puts fencing on the bottom and around it. 
so that way the dogs can't dig out if this is going to be his dog one i don't know which one he's going to put in the dog so i'm gonna have to get with him but that's three stalls all together here's stall one stall two and down at the end stall three all right quick update on the pin i talked to my buddy and uh we're gonna use the big pin for his puppies and i went ahead to fence the whole floor and up the wall a little bit so they cannot dig out so the whole thing is secure 360. now i'm gonna throw the hay back in here and i'm even gonna try to catch a puppy and lock him up see if he stays well i caught a puppy and i put her inside the cage i forgot the locks so I just wired it shut. I'm going to get the locks right now. And uh, while I'm gone, it's a good test to see if she'll stay in the cage or if she'll Houdini out of there. So I gave her a little toy there. But she's not a, uh, she don't like it too much. <laughs> but it should hold her in. Well, I made it back to uh, my friend's farm. See if the puppy's still stuck inside that cage. I brought the locks. I got some real locks instead of a wire. It's a little windy out and it looks like a storm's coming. But let's see if that puppy's still in there. And there she is. Doing well. Stuck in the cage still. Her friends won't come close to me because they know they know something's up. But she's still there. She's so sweet too. I just want to let her out. Well, I caught all three of them. Now they're in here. They're cute as can be. This is how I got it strapped. I got this little here, and it just clips on. I got two of them, one on the top, one on the bottom, so they can't weasel out. I got two of those on each of your gates. So there you go.